So let's do a little quick history lesson. We're going to go back to 1985, April 30th. The San Francisco 49ers just selected Jerry Rice with the 16th overall pick. That means his last season at Mississippi Valley State was 1984. That was the last great team that they've ever had. Since 1984, the Mississippi State Valley Delta Devils have only experienced two winning seasons. Both of those came in the mid-2000s where they went 6-5 and five in both seasons. They haven't done anything since. Now in today's game, Mississippi Valley State has two impact players at wide receiver. Wilkinson and Brown, watch out for them. They also have an impact player at linebacker, but I didn't bother showing him because he's injured. He's out for five weeks. So that benefits us. As we take the snap for the first play of the game, the man all the way from VA goes up the right sideline and he is gone. Just like that, we take off and strike first. Touchdown, Alabama State. Justin Chambers from 59 yards out, his first touchdown of the day. Chambers is tired of being disrespected. He's about to turn over the record books. So there goes Mississippi Valley on offense. There goes Crum, crumbling for some yards. Second and three, Valley, the pitch to Crum once again, and he's taken down in the backfield by Lawrence Martin. So third and four, Kearney stepping back to pass and Jamal Sykes comes in with the sack, was not fooled on that play as the Hornet linebackers continue to show that they are indeed the future. They punt the ball on fourth and long, and we give it back to the man all the way from VA. He's looking to wreak havoc all day today. So you see the numbers. We got the second best offense in the country. As we go in at second and one, the pitch to Justin Chambers, and he gets past the first down mark again. We're still rolling at the Delta Devil 43. First and 10, look at Newton. Finding Kevin Scott, but he dropped the ball. We can't have that today. So we go back to Chambers. He makes a man miss. He goes up the right sideline, dragging defenders, getting near the 20-yard line. We are rolling right now. The run game is going strong. Everything's going strong. The Hornets are just too strong for this team. Newton looking for Kevin Scott again. This time, oh, take that back. That was Jason White who hauls in the pass. First and goal at the 10. Newton stepping back, feeling pressure, and he gets sacked. Griffin comes in for the first sack of the game for the Delta Devils. That's a heartbreaker for our offense. Could it kill the rhythm? Hopefully it won't. Second and goal. We go back to the hot man. The man all the way from VA making a man miss and then gets into the end zone for his second touchdown of the game. And another touchdown for Alabama. I'm telling y'all, this man is a beast. He already has over 100 yards rushing in the first quarter. So the Delta Devils are back on offense. This time we're gonna pay homage to, to the Hornet defense. Look at Crump taking the handoff and he's going nowhere. Running into a wall. And then there goes third and four. Kearney. Nobody's there. So again, they have to punt the ball back to the Hornet offense. Newton. All day to pass. Finds Kevin Scott. He goes up the left sideline as the DB tries to dive in for the deflection. And another touchdown for Alabama State. The Delta Devils get 21 skunk. And now they have to pass the sticks. Kevin Scott once again embarrassing another DB as he goes in for another touchdown. Second and two. Delta Devils back on offense. Kearney finding the play action, but then he gets sat by Lawrence Martin again. Kearney once again stepping back on third down. They didn't do anything on this drive. They just looked a mess that entire quarter. As the Hornets go into the second quarter with a 21 to nothing lead and in complete control. But look at the man all the way from VA trying to break through that wall, but he couldn't get anywhere. Second and seven, play action pass. We're looking for Jason White who hauls in the pass and gets tackled inside the 25 yard line. Jason White once again with another big catch. Newton this time though is sacked. Under pressure once again, holding on the ball for too long. Second and 20. This time we're looking deep for Jason White, but then that was a bad pass. Third and 20. Newton looking for Kevin Scott. He hauls in the pass and then he gets dragged down. 
well short of the first down marker. We're feeling ourselves though. On fourth and twelve, we're going for the half at the rate. And we come up short. Ha! <laughs> they stop us. First and ten though. Look at Cal Gray. Look at Cal Gray taking off like a missile. Getting into the backfield for another sack on Kearney. Second and 15. The ball's at the 12. And then look at Kearney once again. He can't get anything going as Blake Stovall should have had a pick on that plate. Third and 15 now. Kearney pops it. Nobody's home. The Hornet defense says get the step in. So second and 10. And then look at the man all the way from VA. Untouchable. You can't stop him. Touchdown Alabama State. That's three touchdowns in the first half for Justin Chambers. The man has had enough of the disrespect. He's mad that he's still not on the Heisman watch list. And now you have no choice but to give him the recognition. But look at Crum. Look at Mississippi Valley State trying to make something happen as Crum gets tackled in midfield by Josh Sisk. Here we go on second and ten, another delay. And then this time Crum fumbles the ball and Scott McFarlane jumps on it. The Hornet defense with a turnover. Scott McFarlane coming back home to his home state of Mississippi. Getting a big fumble recovery after Corey Johnson forces a fumble on Crum. The Hornet offense now have the ball back and we're going to extend our lead even more. So here goes Newton once again. Looking this time for Jason White. And he gets popped by Mays. And Mays recovers the ball. Mays out there looking like Taylor Mays from USC. Let's look at this again. Look at the Valley State fans. They can't believe it. They're so excited. Look at Mays with that big hit on Jason White. Just a mess. Third and ten. Kearney pops it. He finds red. Red ain't going nowhere though. So that was on third down. They punt the ball on fourth and three. And then there goes Justin Chambers getting blasted as he gets to the first down marker. And then here he goes again. This time up the left side. Past the 50-yard line in the Delta Devil territory. Second and nine with 25 seconds left in the half. Look at the man all the way from VA going up the left sideline. Keeping his balance. And gets inside the 10. Look at this run again. Chambers taking the handoff going up the left side. One tackle. Two. Three. Four broken tackles. Newton. Stepping back and pops it. And Jason White dropped the ball. Crazy. So we go back to Justin Chambers. And he does just enough to get past the goal line for another touchdown for Alabama State. We are cruising in the Delta right now as we're beating Mississippi Valley State 35 to nothing. The second half is underway and Valley did nothing on their first drive. So we take the ball over and on second and 10, as you can see, Bobby Newton overthrows Kevin Scott. And then Newton just feels the pressure right there. So we're going for it on fourth and 10. We're letting our nuts hang again. We're giving it to Cal Gray on the power option. Look how he keeps his balance and fumbles the ball. But that's after he goes out of bounds. So there goes Newton again. Looking for Kevin Scott and that's intercepted by Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick's going the other way. Nobody on the offense is going to catch up to him. And he goes into the end zone for a pick six. And the first score of the game for Mississippi Valley State. Yikes. So we get the ball back on first and ten. There goes Kenny Gaston, our two-way running back from Prattville. Trying to make something happen on second and five. He breaks a tackle, but he goes out of bounds. Third and three. Chambers is back in the game. The play action and then Newton stepping back and pops it to Jason Wider he makes a diving beautiful catch first and ten once again Newton stepping back and pops it on the play action it's caught by Kevin Scott and then the officials rule him out at the one how was he out at the one yard line unbelievable we just got a touchdown taken from us so we give it to him on the end of the round at the one yard line and he gets in for another touchdown, Alabama Sparks. What a game for the Hornets on offense, defense, and special teams. 42 to seven. And then here we go again. There goes Hope getting up the gut for some big yards. And then there goes Crumb running into a wall and then gets taken down. So here we go. 
The Hornets got the ball back once again. And a man all the way from VA breaks loose. He's in Delta territory. The man all the way from VA goes into the end zone again. Touchdown run number four. Touchdown run number four. Oh, what's that number five? I done lost count. The man all the way from VA is unbelievable. Heisman voters, y'all better take another look. It's 49-7. We going into the fourth quarter. The game's in the bag. The defense is still turning up. There goes Blake Koch getting in sack on Kearney. Kearney stepping back the pass once again. It's intercepted by Cal Gray. Cal Gray's going the other way. Cal Gray's going into the end zone for a pick six. Touchdown, Alabama State. What a play by Cal Gray. His first pick six of his career. The man makes plays. It doesn't matter what side of the ball he plays on. So Valley has the ball back. And Cal Gray gets in for a sack. Cal Gray with his second sack of the day. Along with the pick six. What a big game for Cal Gray. Career days for everybody. 39. Kearney stepping back. He's looking for Brown. He makes the catch up for Cedric McNeil. Mississippi Valley State is not giving up. The game is well out of reach, but they're still playing hard. So it's first and goal at the 10. 56 to 7. They have a new quarterback in the game, and his name is Moore. As you saw, Jason Moore with a big hit in the end zone there. Fourth and goal now. Moore stepping back. All day and pops it. And then that's deflected away by Blake Rollins. Great play for the defense. There goes Justin Chambers, though. Catching the ball in the flat. What can't this man do? We're looking deep for Jason White and he hauls in the pass. We're still playing our game. Right sideline. Gone. Touchdown. Alabama State. The Valley fans have seen enough. They can't take it anymore. They're out of here. They're done. As Jason White hauls in another touchdown catch from the season. What a big play there by the Hornet offense. First and ten. There goes Valley again. Oh, and just a heads up, we have our second string in the game, and yes, that was Justin Chambers making a tackle on defense. But on the next play, they give the ball to Lee on the toss play, and nobody's going to catch him. He goes into the end zone, and another touchdown for Valley. Look at that. They're so happy they just scored. They can't, be they can't believe that they scored. So here we go. We're still playing our game, and then we get intercepted again. This time it's by Sessions, the free safety. We're feeling ourselves a little bit too much. We might have to calm down now. First and ten. Play action. And that pass is picked up by Josh Sisk. More Valley fans are getting up and leaving now. They can't believe it. After a big play and they turn the ball over. So here we go. Newton stepping back. Tim Brown dropped the ball up the middle. So second and ten. Newton once again stepping back. Finding Gaston on the screen pass. Tries to do a juke move, but he gets hit. 30 inches. Newton stepping back. Pops it. That was a bad pass. I know what you're thinking. We should have ran the ball on fourth and inches, right? We don't care, though. We're going to look in the end zone, and we find Tim Brown. Touchdown, Alabama State. 70 to 14. We haven't scored this many points in a while. So it's 43 seconds left. We have almost 700 yards of total offense. We held them to just over 200. And then Moore is hit as he throws. And it's picked off by Jason Moore. He changes direction. He's going back down the right sideline. Jason Moore's going into the end zone for a pick six. Another pick six for this Hornet defense. And more Valley fans have had enough. The game's over. The Hornets win six in a row. The Hornets are on fire right now. Six games in a row. We're looking to end this season big. We're looking to do big things here. We take care of Mississippi Valley State. I still have no idea why EA Sports think that this is a rivalry game. But I don't even remember the last time in real life that Mississippi Valley State beat Alabama State on the football field. But anyway, let's look at the stats. Bobby Newton had a pretty good game. Minus those two interceptions. Could have been a lot better. He completed over 50% of his passes, though. Justin Chambers, 
over 300 yards rushing with five touchdowns. On 15 carries, the man is averaging well over 200 yards per game now. You can't help but acknowledge that if you're a Heisman Trophy voter. The wide receivers, they look good today. I wish Tim Brown had, had a better game, though. But look at that, though. He had six broken tackles, almost 150 yards after contact. Now, Jason White, Kevin Scott, both of them had superb games. Tim Brown only caught one pass that went for a touchdown, but I'm looking to get him more involved in this offense because he's a very valuable asset on this team. Uh, the issue of drop passes is still there, though. As you can see, we had four total drop passes. Unbelievable, man. This really been an issue all season. When is it going to stop? We really got to get our game up, man. Like, real talk. Look at that, though. Kevin Scott had two drops, one from Jason White and one from Tim Brown. That really does suck, man. I really wish that we could do better as far as, like, being consistent with, the, with catching the ball. The offensive line was superb today. Kareem Harvick was the only one that gave up a sack. Ryder Watts had three pancakes. Even Jason White had a couple of pancakes. But the defense today was lights out. Lawrence Martin leading, leading the team in tackles. Cal Gray leading the team in, nope, take that back. Yo, take that back, yeah. Lawrence Martin leading the team in tackles for loss. Cal Gray led the team in sacks with two. And then you have Jason Moore. Calgary and Josh Six each getting an interception while Jason Moore and Cal Gray both returned their interceptions for touchdowns. Just an unbelievable performance overall. What a great day to be a Hornet. An unbelievable time to be a Hornet. Big things are coming here at Alabama State. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.